barley loaves and fishes. Little lad lived by a lake, a deep blue lake, where at night his father went fishing. In the morning, little lad helped his father sort the fish he had caught. They put the big fish in one pile and the little fish in another pile. Big fish, little fish. Big fish, little fish. Then little lad and his father went to breakfast. For breakfast, little lad had barley loaves. Little lad liked barley loaves. They were round and crusty and good. Barley loaves would make him grow strong, make him grow tall. Then he too could go fishing on the lake. One morning, little lad saw many, many people going by his home along the lake shore. They were going to find Jesus. May I go too? He asked his mother. Why, yes, you may go. I will make you a lunch. You will be hungry after that long walk. Into a basket, little lad's mother put five barley loaves and two small fishes. She gave the basket to little lad to take with him on his long walk beside the lake. Little lad waved goodbye to his mother. Barefooted, he walked through the tickly grass and the prickly weeds and over the sun-warmed stones. Little lad was happy, happy to be walking along the lake shore on such a sunny morning. But most of all, he was happy because he was going to see Jesus. Little lad found Jesus on a grassy hillside talking to many, many people. Jesus told such interesting stories. He told about animals and birds and what it is like up in heaven. Little lad listened and listened. Sometimes he thought of eating his lunch, but always he waited for just one more story. Little lad, do you have any lunch? asked a man named Andrew. Oh, yes, sir. I have five barley loaves and two small fishes. Would you like to share your lunch with Jesus? asked Andrew. Oh, yes, sir. I would like to share my lunch with Jesus. Little lad gave his lunch basket to Andrew. He watched Andrew take it to Jesus. He saw the pleased look on Jesus' face. And then he heard Jesus say to the people, Sit down on the grass, all of you. We shall now have lunch. Little lad's eyes opened wide. He thought, There's not enough lunch for all these people in my little lunch basket. He was about to go and tell Jesus that there were only five barley loaves and two small fishes in the basket. But Jesus was asking a blessing. Little lad bowed his head. Little lad saw Jesus reach into the basket and bring out barley loaves and fishes for his helpers to pass to the people. Little lad moved closer to see better. Andrew smiled and gave him a loaf and a fish. Then Jesus reached into the basket again and brought out more loaves and fishes. Again and again and again, Jesus put his hand into the basket and Always there were loaves and fishes. How can it be? thought little lad. In my basket there were only five loaves and two small fishes. But Jesus keeps taking out more and more and more. And then he knew. It was Jesus' blessing that made more. More barley loaves, more fishes. When everyone had eaten, Jesus said, Gather up the leftover food. His helpers went here and there with baskets, picking up all the small pieces. Little lad counted the baskets of leftovers. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve baskets. What a surprise! and all from his little lunch. 
Little lad hurried home to tell his father and his mother how Jesus had fed a big crowd of people from his basket of lunch, and how when the people had eaten, there was more left over than he had to begin with.